Okay, let's suppose you made changes to your online menu. Let's say you change the price of a hamburger or change the name or reduce the price or remove an item or update the taxes or change the modifiers. And you notice when you go to your order online page, those uh, it has the old prices, not the new prices that you changed on your Clover. Or you made some um, made some items required. Any if you did any of these changes, uh, then you will need to do a manual sync. So here's how you do that: go to the back end of your website. How do you go to the back end of your website? Just go to your URL at the very end, put forward slash wp dash admin, like that. Okay, and then just press enter, and then log in with the username and password that was emailed to you. And then once you do that, um, you'll be presented with this screen right here called the dashboard. And then all you do is press this button here on the left-hand side called Clover Orders and then Settings. Once you press uh, Settings, uh, you'll see uh, something called Import Inventory. Press Import Inventory one time and then scroll halfway down. It says Manual Sync. Okay. In most cases, you probably hardly ever update the taxes, so you may want to leave this. Not You don't have to press this one, but if you want to, you can. It doesn't hurt to update taxes, even if you didn't make changes to your taxes. But I recommend doing these three. Uh, I would recommend doing this at least once a month because you may never know. Some employee may have changed a price or um, a manager may have updated a price. And so it's always good to do this. Press Update Modifiers, and then once you press it, wait until it updates it. Depending on how many modifiers it has to update, it'll take longer. And then press update categories and then press update all items okay that's how you do a manual sync and this will update the prices let's say you deleted lots of items from your clover inventory and you need to uh and you're trying to figure out why they're still there then you could do a clean inventory again this is if it's more than like 15 items and there's so many of them uh, that you don't that uh that you can't you want to get rid of them but they're still on the website just do that but if there's only a few or four or five then just go to items images right here and then just hide it manually let's say uh, there's only one item that's on the website and you can't get get rid of it just put your mouse over it and just say hide from website okay and you can just do that or if the same thing happens with a category you can do the same thing with the category you can just hide it let's say you you remove the entire category but somehow it's still on the website just click on categories and just hide it see slide to the left it disappears okay and that's how you do a manual sync and how to hide an item and how to hide a category Feel free to watch the other videos uh, as well. There's uh, topics, uh, there's videos that covers other stuff as well. Thank you so much.